This isn't a particularly pretty place. It doesn't attract many tourists. This hedge is at the side of a field through which a, a busy road goes. On the other side we have a wind farm and up over beyond the road there's a recycling station. But it was a sacred space. Darakot Moor was once a burial ground in the Bronze Age and it's scheduled as an important monument nationally. Even with the coronavirus epidemic, there's still traffic going around here. But every single one of these lorries and cars and tractors that goes past is driving literally over the bones of the dead. Because this mound that goes off into the road is not a hill, it's actually an enormous burial mound, an enormous barrow of some great man who lived in the Bronze Age in Britain. The mound is visible on the road as well. You can see it when you're driving, it's just this hill that you go over. All the cars going over it. Then from an aerial view, you can see the barrow on both sides of the road in each of the fields. Here it is quite clear, the largest of all the barrows in this grave field. Barrow 2 from the same grave field of Darakot Moor in Huntshaw was excavated in 1875 by a local amateur archaeologist named George Doe. He found this dagger inside the barrow. The dagger was found with a cremation burial, and radiocarbon dating of the remains in 2013 dated them to around 1800 to 2000 BC. Many Bronze Age barrows on the moors of Devon contain cremation burials, such as Brocken Barrow from Exmoor, which contained this urn now kept in Barnstable Museum. On the Exmoor there are over 300 barrows from the late Neolithic to the early Bronze Age, all mainly associated with the Belbica culture. And this is a nice example of one from Brocken Barrow. It's called Brocken Barrow Urn, but there are actually several barrows at uh, the Brock and Barrow site and there have been other urns unearthed from it before this one. It was unearthed at the beginning of the 20th century and unfortunately there was a mishap involving a drunk uh, individual which led to it being smashed. Uh, perhaps it wasn't in great condition when it was first unearthed anyway but it was restored to its present state in the 1990s and you can see quite clearly where the reparations have been done. The Huntshaw dagger was buried with a large quantity of oak and beech leaves, which may have had a ritual significance associated with the weapon. Such daggers were high status symbols in the early Indo European culture of the Bell Beak of Folk. This dagger is from a similar barrow around Stonehenge, and this one is from York. Another local Bronze Age find was a hook tang spearhead of Cypriot origin. Very few examples are found in Britain. The British Beaker people were a part of an enormous trade network, giving them access to amber from Scandinavia and weapons from the Mediterranean. And the tin they mined here in the West Country was exported as far away as the Levant. I have made lots of other videos about Bronze Age burial mounds in England and Sweden. So click one of the links on screen now to keep on learning. You should also peruse my online Teespring store, which features a number of excellent designs of very Indo-European artwork. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.